In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use Microsoft Forms for scheduling. Microsoft Forms is a versatile tool that can help streamline the way you organize meetings, events, or appointments. Whether you're planning a team meeting or setting up client consultations, learning how to effectively use Microsoft Forms can save you a significant amount of time and effort. Let's walk through the process together. First, let's navigate to Microsoft Forms. If you're already familiar with Microsoft's suite of online tools, finding forms should be straightforward. But for those who are new, simply search for Microsoft Forms through your web browser, and it should be one of the top results. Once you've found it, the next step is to sign in with your Microsoft account. If you don't already have an account, you'll need to create one. It's a simple process that will give you access not only to forms, but to other Microsoft services as well. Signing in should bring you to the main dashboard of Microsoft Forms, this platform is intuitively designed, so even if you're a first-time user, navigating through it should feel relatively straightforward. From the dashboard, you're going to start a new project by creating a new form. Click on the New Form button. This action opens up a blank form template for you to customize according to your scheduling needs. Now, the real fun begins adding questions to your form. The questions you include will depend entirely on the type of scheduling you're doing. For instance, if you're setting up appointments, you might want to ask for preferred dates and times, contact information, and the nature of the appointment. Microsoft Forms offers a variety of question types, from multiple choice to open-ended text fields, so you can tailor your form precisely to your needs. As you add each question, think about the information you need from your respondents to efficiently schedule them. It's also a good idea to make certain fields mandatory, ensuring you get all the necessary information in one ego. One of the great features of Microsoft Forms is its flexibility. As you're creating your form, you can preview it at any time to see how it will appear to others. This is crucial for ensuring that your form is user-friendly. If something seems confusing or out of place, you can adjust it before making your form live. Pay special attention to the flow of questions, making sure they're logically ordered. For example, you wouldn't want to ask for someone's preferred meeting time before finding out what the meeting is about. Uh, after you've added all your questions and you're satisfied with the layout of your form, the next step is to share it with others. Microsoft Forms provides a link to your form that you can send via email, post on social media, or embed in a website. Choose the method that's most appropriate for your audience. If you're scheduling a team meeting, for instance, emailing the link directly to your team members might be the best approach. Finally, once your form is out in the world and responses start coming in, Microsoft Forms makes it easy to manage this information. You can view responses directly in Forms, or for more advanced analysis, you can export the data to Excel. This is especially helpful if you're dealing with a large volume of responses and need to organize them in a specific way. And that's essentially it a step-by-step -step guide to using Microsoft Forms for scheduling. Remember, the key is to be clear and precise in the questions you ask. This not only makes it easier for people to complete your form, but also ensures you get the information you need to efficiently schedule your meetings or events. With a bit of practice, you'll find that Microsoft Forms can be a powerful tool in your organizational toolkit. So go ahead and give it a try. Happy scheduling.